So here we are doing another Nerf Fortnite unboxing and review. Let's get into it. What's going on YouTube? Chamber Productions coming back at you with another Nerf video. And in today's video, I'll be doing a video review on the Nerf Fortnite IR. Um, yeah, Nerf Fortnite line still going. I'm going to remove my llama hat. Um, this is probably about the fourth. See, there was the SPL review I did, which got a, got a, Good amount of reviews. Thank you for all the support on that video. Um, I actually do appreciate all the views I got on that Nerf Fortnite SPL Blast review. I did the SCAR. I did the tactical shotgun. I had a couple of the micro shotguns, and this will be the fifth Fortnite Nerf Blaster that I reviewed. Um, I, I don't really go out of my way to uh, pick up the Nerf Fortnite Blasters or anything like that. Um, but this was gifted to me, so I am going to unbox it and review it. So, packaging, you got a picture of the blaster and everything top you got fort fortnite and nerf and then on the back you got more promotional images and stuff let's go ahead and dive right into it so we're just going to take our box cutter slice be careful with knives and let's just go ahead and see what awaits us inside so see what we got going on here is there a tray or do you just i think you just grab a rifle yeah Here's the blaster, okay. Okay, um, so it looks like you are going to have some, uh, some modulus, uh, styled attachment points on this, which is awesome, I love to see that. Um, let's see, you got your darts in this little thing right here, darts, magazine, which is a, what does it say? No, but I believe it's going to be like a five or six round mag. Uh, nothing too crazy. Pull that out. It looks like this is the stock. Again, we're going to have some mod attachment points on this blaster. And then... Uh, got it. We have our barrel, which is, again, a mod attachment point. So... I'm grabbing the blaster, put that on, not too bad, not too bad, and then I'm assuming that goes on like so, and I mean, yeah, it's a definitely a good size blaster, and I would like to thank Nerf right out the box here. Here on the front, we have stickers to protect our logos so they don't get chipped up in the box. Thank you so much, Nerf. That is such a good idea. Definitely is good to see that kind of care being put into our Nerf blasters and whatnot, but definitely a pretty interesting looking blaster. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of its details. And to get the Nerf Fortnite IR set up, it is a motorized semi-automatic rifle. Get a screwdriver, open up this battery compartment on the underside of the rifle. It does take four AA batteries, setting those in like so. Wait a minute, is that a AAA battery? Finishing the rest of the process, you simply put in the double A's, close the hatch, and then after you do that, you take your six round magazine, and then there are 12 darts, and you simply load six of the 12 into the magazine. It will not hold any more than six, but load it in, and you're ready to roll. And here we have the Fortnite IR, and I mean, it's definitely not a bad looking blaster. Um, in hand, it feels pretty good. The grip here is actually a pretty reasonably sized for adult hands. As you can see, I have large hands and my hand fits the grip just fine. So grip feels good in hand. The stock here, it is a stock that you can remove. Um, it just has a little button that you press, but putting that on, the stock itself feels really good actually um, with the cheek rest. I really like that attention to detail. Um, if you've ever shot a real rifle, you will know that cheek rest is definitely a very important part of, uh, of the rifle itself, but you got tack rail right here. So if you want to put any, uh, scopes or attachments there, you can, uh, this, as you saw earlier is an attachment point and you can put, let's just grab right here is the SPL silencer barrel attachment. So if you wanted to have this weird combination going, you can, uh, 
it's up to you. It looked funny, but you know, you can get different, uh, different combinations like that going. Uh, aesthetics of the gum looks good. Got some nice paint here on the front. You know the drill with Nerf. Uh, they do not paint the back. And uh, for lefties like me, it doesn't really look all that good. Uh, it has a six round magazine clip, which is fed just like that. Rev trigger right here on the bottom. It is a flywheel powered blaster. And I mean, for a Nerf Fortnite blaster, it's not too terribly bad. Not bad at all. There are no sling mounts. I mean, you could run something through the stock here, but overall, the aesthetics ain't too bad. The blaster itself feels good. And hand, again, it's Fortnite, so it's got that weird, uh, weird design going on with the, you know, gun tapering more uh, out as it goes down along the way. But overall, pretty good blaster. Looks good. Aesthetics are good. Now in terms of loading and operating the blaster and everything, right in front of the trigger you have the mag release so you can press that in, which I actually do like because in my opinion it make reloading quicker. You can just press forward and pull the magazine out. Again, this is a six round mag. Put that in. Um, you got the rev trigger right here, right above or right underneath the trigger guard. On this side here, let's say you have a jam up, you got a jam door right here, so while it would be a tight space, you can clear out some jams right through there. But overall, pretty simple blaster. Um, it is compatible with other um, magazines from your mainline Nerf, uh, in strike stuff. Um, if you have the Fortnite Scar, you can put that in there. Um, but definitely, a pretty pretty cool looking blaster again um, it's got the weird ergonomics with it being a Fortnite blaster but not too terribly bad but yeah there you have the functionality and everything let's see how it performs all right now since I've reviewed a couple of Fortnite blasters on my channel before well I say a couple of few um, I am just going to do a indoor test because um, these blasters will shoot anywhere from like 40 to 50 feet, maybe 60. Um, but this is a flywheel powered blaster. Um, so it's electronically driven, not spring powered. Um, I would say it'd push anywhere from uh, 40 to 50 feet, maybe. Um, but just going ahead and inserting our magazine. I have inserted the rounds wrong. Allow me to fix this. Okie dokie, take two. We're going to insert our clip, like so, and I've got some targets taped to my door, and we're just going to shoot those. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. So, I mean, overall, performance isn't too bad. You definitely can't really aim using the rail here. Um, as you can see in the beginning, I missed a few rounds. But, I mean, overall, performance isn't too bad. Pretty good for a, a Fortnite flywheel-powered blaster. Definitely not terrible. So, overall, what are my official thoughts and opinions about the Nerf Fortnite IR? Not a bad blaster. Um, again, it is a Fortnite blaster. These are not performance blasters. If anything, they are built for... Um, people who do cosplay. Um, it is definitely targeted towards the younger audience, um, but I gotta say everything in terms of how the rifle fits in hand feels pretty good. Again, the grip is a solid size for an adult. The magazine release is in an appropriate place to where it allow you to do quick reloads. It's got a tack sight or a tack rail up here. You can do some different attachments. Um, the stock on this blaster, I've gotta say, is really really good the cheek rest and everything is quite comfortable I've, I've got to I've got to give nerf credit for uh, the functionality of the stock and everything and overall just the functionality of the of the blaster as a whole is definitely not too bad again you definitely have to sort of you know 
guesstimate where you're aiming because if you aim normally you're definitely going to be aiming a little bit high due to how the ergonomics and the design of this gun is and that that kind of goes across the board for all fortnite blasters because they all like taper out towards the end so definitely again it's built more for people who do uh, dress up as like fortnite stuff for costumes cosplayers stuff like that but overall not a bad nerf blaster as a whole definitely um again not a performance blaster but um, definitely a pretty cool blaster in its own right but I hope you all enjoyed this video if so be sure to leave a like comment what you think of the Fortnite um, IR in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel that's all from me Champion Productions signing off